select board meetings on Monday, July 23rd, 2018, and this meeting has been posted publicly in three places and on the website and emailed to interested parties. That's probably why so many people are here, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And so we can legally have this meeting. Does anyone at this time have any additions to the agenda they would like to add? Going once, going twice, we're gonna go with what's on the agenda and we're gonna have a uh, executive session after the meeting to talk about legal issues and health care issues and we will start with the minutes from the last meeting of July 9th which I found typed up. I read so, them as well. There are, I move to accept those. I second it. All in favor? Aye. Right, we got those minutes and we also have some minutes um, from the public hearing which we had at the um, which was regarding the final, um, this was the park house? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Yep. And that looked good to me. I would move to accept those. All in Second. favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Just minutes. And um, I'd say um, Yola is going to be here. Um, if maybe you could do some other business and give her some time to get here because she's the official representative. She's not here. And, and Mike, you're here to speak with um, Yola? I mean, you're here with her? Yeah, answer any questions, you know, contribute as needed. All right, so I'll we'll just um, hold on to that and then we're going to go right on to Joan. Lucky. Okay, I'll try to speak up about the fan. Uh, just you. a couple of things. Um, I wanted to let you know that the, uh, I would like to have a few possible dates and times for a special select board meeting to review the current stage of the stormwater master plan, which has been moving along uh, quite nicely over the past few weeks. And um, it's the reason why I wouldn't bring it to the regular meeting is just because it's a rather complicated drawn out process to review 19 possible projects. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to get out, get out the time to really focus just on that uh, instead of doing it at a regular meeting. Um, so there's 19 possible projects. Some of those can be, might be able to be bundled uh, if they're all in the same drainage area or sort of encompass the same kind of uh, mm -hmm. runoff issue so that we can get that number down. Um, they've been preliminarily prioritized by the consultants just based on their own thoughts about what they think are the most important things for the town to try and tackle. Um, but one of the things that we'll be asking you to do, we being Mary Russ and myself, would be for you to take a look at all those possible projects, ask whatever questions you have, of course, and we'll probably have plenty of those, and then um, give us some ideas on whether you agree with those prioritizations or whether you have other ideas about those, because ultimately, you know, through the town's decision, how we can form on those. Um, uh, the first three that get prioritized will get what's called 30% design, and that consists of some preliminary site testing, like soils and stuff, to make sure that the things that they're proposing would actually work on that site. Uh, and cost estimates for construction and preliminary design. So it's kind of like the first step of the design phase. Uh, and those are based, again, on what you would prioritize that you would want to do, you know, subject to funding for the next couple of years. And part of what their um, final report will be will include possible funding sources based on what those priorities are. Some of the projects are pretty simple and aren't going to require much in the way of design. Some of them are, you know, sort of medium, and some are quite complex. But there aren't too many of those, actually. Um, and they include sites which are both have stormwater and pollution issues, which are usually combined into one. Um, so that's that. Um, so if you maybe can, if you want to email me over the next couple of days, because I want to hear from Tom as well. Um, you want to do this pretty soon, right? Well, yeah, because they have a deadline for submitting their final report, which of course I, I imagine can be flexible if that's mm -hmm. needed, you know, for you know, vacations and summertime and that kind of stuff. So, mm -hmm. um, is there someone else involved in this meeting? 
Um, Mary Ross from the White River Partnership. Um, they're the ones who actually, White River Partnership is the ones who actually got the grant for okay. us uh, from the state. Uh, we made a request to Mary, you know, would you like to get involved in helping us do a stormwater master plan? So she's been very instrumental and very involved in the project. She's actually the client for the consultants, but you know, obviously not working. So it's the White River uh, Partnership. So, uh, shall I email you when I'm back in on Wednesday and ask you for dates and prefer time of day and then maybe Tom will be back by then. And, He's uh, supposed to be back tomorrow. Okay. So, yes. I'll be back in on Wednesday, so I'm able to do that if that works for you. Okay. If Brenda Warren has special meetings that are scheduled for three days, it would be fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
here. Alright, you can um, jump back to um, your arm. Thank you. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I, I thought I would be on the right road, but uh, um, so I had my dinner first. Um, Speak up. Okay. 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 I will. Mm -hmm. um, so we are uh, here to um, talk about the uh, generous donation uh, by Mike um, of uh, 25 panels, solar panels, um, that uh, are being given to the, that are being donated to the library. And uh, though the panel system, the 25 panel system, would generate roughly about 60 month, six dollars a month in credit, um, and sixty dollars, yeah. And uh, we got a couple of um, estimates. Three, um, two, two. Um, the one that I have in front of me uh, is it's the cheaper one is by Rob Stubbing Solar. Stubbing? Stubbing. Mm -hmm. S-T-U-B-B-I-N-G. Mm -hmm. And um, so if I may just quickly say that this is okay. So our average electrical expenses are about $120 a month, which translates into $1,447 a year, roughly. Average electrical usage is about 95 kilowatts a month. And anticipated electrical expenses in 20 years would be um, 2020 a year. And then with this uh, use of the solar panels, the annual savings would be about, would be $586. And for, uh, with the payback, anticipated payback period of 13 years. So that system with uh, installing, oh, also any extra energy that we'd save, and we would, uh, could be transferred to any um, location, like let's say, you know, the town hall. Um, so for this, for 25 panels to be installed, so the panels that Panels come free. Right. Yeah. The um, installation uh, cost would be eleven thousand two hundred seventeen dollars and twelve cents. But uh, there is a thirty, as we all know, there is a thirty dollar uh, federal tax credit offer to everybody who um, installs solar panels um, and so that would the uh, net that cost does that apply to a town since we're not um, i don't know i went on the website actually and i you know they ask for my name and address and zip well i, I tried the zip code but then i was directed to um, my name and address when at that point I didn't, I stopped. So I'm not sure, I didn't have time yeah. to explore this, but I would think so. Uh, I would think that. Well, since the town doesn't pay its income taxes, I don't know if the tax credit is. Would it? That was my, I, was, I, was, I wasn't I was. sure about that it's part. That's a good question to ask, yeah. Mm-hmm. <coughs> you have a question I'm going to answer? Well, um, if in our quest to raise the money to put solar panels on the library, if we do a fundraiser for that, donors to the project could utilize that tax credit. 
Uh, but the, the library or the town, neither one, since we don't pay taxes, could utilize a tax credit. So, so this is um, so the net cost after the tax credit would have been seven thousand eight hundred fifty one dollars and ninety nine cents, and the um, modules are in a good shape. You know, they're about ten years old and also, but they still have about eighty two percent of how they are. You, um, power um, usage power and then uh, they would they could go they they would be it's still good for about 20 years they don't break they are uh, made to last and um, so I'm curious so Mike you in regards to the the age of the panels why are you upgrading them uh, yeah I'm changing out my system to have some increased production uh, because I'm gonna get myself an electric car mm -hmm. and I'm looking to try to you know power my vehicle from the sun and just, uh, newer panels yeah. more kit yep you know the other thing I'll mention is uh, it's not just the panels it's also the right. inverter yeah that uh, converts the DC to AC uh, and that the inverter is actually new yeah, that's, uh, thank you, how many how many watt charging? Sorry. How many watts do you have? You know, how many it, watts it, charging? It's a, uh, it's a two point five kilowatt system. Two thousand. Right? Two thousand. Yeah. It says uh, estimated production would be four point two six megawatt hours annually. We had two different estimates. The information Yola has been providing has been from Ron Stubbins. The information on that little chart was from Amos with the Integrity Solar. Um, that's why there's a little bit of difference and how they calculated that might is a little bit different. I'm just, I'm just, I'm quoting uh, Rob, Rob Stubbin because his installation, his um, cost is lower. Uh, the other estimate was $14,000 installation and cost. And his was? Uh, his was um, 11, before the tax credit, 11 uh, to 17. Well, I was up there first. Two things. I hold the roof on the library. Well, I was just getting to that. So Big important factor. <laughs> and is this to be grid connected or battery? It is, it is mentioned, it says that the roof is in a good, is a good shape. And, and even though it's a steep, uh, build, a steep roof and the building is a two story building, he doesn't foresee any trouble with the installation. So I, I heard that, that in the analysis they could see lots of screws or nails um, sticking out like out of, out of the roof and that's the yeah. roof's been on since the 80s I guess yeah. and, um, and uh, in my understanding if you're going to put solar on a roof you should probably place that roof at standing seam so you're not penetrating the roof and you're not putting solar on something that so that 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 would be an expense that should be well, I can speak to that. I mean, uh, my roof is a is a asphalt shingle roof, mm -hmm. um, and you know they can install the the racking through asphalt shingles, and they can seal it up, and it's it doesn't leak. I can tell you, 13 years I haven't had a drop come through. Um, in comparing the two estimates. Um, Rob Stubbins company has not been to Rochester. They were simply giving an estimate from the information provided on the, the donated system and our electric bill. Um, Amos's includes um, a structural engineer which would have to sign off on the project because it's a public building. So there's 
some, some costs that aren't the same in those two estimates for comparison. Um, the uh, Amos has seen the roof and the condition of the roof and the height of the roof and included in his estimate is the fact that there would have to be a man lift because of the steepness of both the roof and the, the sides of the building which haven't been included in the other estimate as well because they have not been on a site visit. So just trying to give you some information for those comparisons. Um, so I, I guess this, uh, this whole conversation would, could kick off a, uh, a fundraising drive to try and raise money for um, whether or not it's using these panels or, or new panels and if the roof needs to be addressed and I guess that's um, it's definitely, um, you know, it's not in the budget this year for sure, but if we could raise, you know, it's, they've, they, I assume they've, they've analyzed the exposure and, and deemed it a, an appropriate exposure for solar access. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, the, the, thing is that um, Mike is installing new panels. Right. So the people who will be taking off the existing panels would like to just, they would transport the old panels at the same time to whatever location. So that's, um, that's the time we're talking about. This is a time issue. Um, yeah. Mike wouldn't want to wait until next year. So, um, we would. I don't know if that that um, could catapult us into deficit spending to jump into a project this big. I think this would need to be a we'd have to fundraise, and, and I guess the first step is to have an engineer look at the building and make sure, like we were going to do it on this building, and the engineer went up there, and it was going to be cost prohibitive to to make this structure strong enough. Now I understand that that used to have slate on it, is it, it held up to that. It's probably, but who knows? I mean, that's what the engineers are for. Yeah, that's what well, that, that yeah. second, um, yeah, the other, what's the name, yeah. Jeanette mentioned the other estimate. He talks more about the roof because he, as Jeanette had mentioned, he saw uh, the roof. And, um, yeah, in From, from yeah. the ground, no one's climbed up there and inspected it. I don't, I don't think so, but uh, so he I has guess, it. Mike, is, yeah. is, is it an issue of, of storing panels, you know, if, you're, if you yeah. want to get those off your roof and, and something new on there? Right. They're, you know, they're going the donation the could be made without having to install them immediately, correct? Oh, sure. Yeah. Are they slated to go the 25 panels on uh, just the south side of the roof, or is it both yeah. sides? Yeah, just, just one half of it. Yeah, I mean, north side, that, that face doesn't mm -hmm. get right. a lot of no. exposure. Right. So, yeah, just so the south face. Will fit on that one oh, yeah. Well, plus more. Some of these other folks then are to add, um, yeah. add more to maximize it within the, within the project and to maximize the exposure. And that doubles the uh, money. Incremental cost of installation goes down. just looking at this solar possibility has brought up the condition of the existing roof and our need to look into what appears to be lots of screws sticking out that even if we do nothing solar wise just to preserve the roof um, we need to get somebody up there see if it's just a matter of putting new screws in or whether the new roof needs to be replaced but it's not in the library budget to even have the roof evaluated for the current um, condition and so didn't know if the solar question has shed light on the roof. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. indeed it has yeah. but uh, i didn't know if there was any money in the building reserve fund to have a roofer take a look at it um, um get some you could get in line <laughs> definitely get in line 
guess it's, uh, it's definitely it's not anything that would be happening uh, immediately, especially after the, um, um, you know, where we stand right now. Basically, we're, we're um, kind of trying to um, pull the purse strings kind of tight just after all, a lot of paving and, and other expenses that have gone on. Yeah, so it's, um, so someone had brought up in conversation um, the age of the panels. Are they still functional or 80% good? And, and well, you I'd know, say they're more than that. More than that? Yeah. Uh, I think, uh, well, what I was going to ask is if this is a project that is, is would have to be, we'd have to raise funds for it to really pull it off and do it right. Um, could we accept your donation and sell those panels and put that money towards buying, you know, if we're going to put panels up there, should we put, you know, state-of-the-art newer newer panels? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I, I would consider that, I mean, that would not be Or you preference. could just sell them yourself, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I've, I'm, I'm looking to, to donate them. That's yes. that's my objective. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, to to a place where they would not otherwise be able to be used. Yeah. Um, uh, free panels. Free panels. Free inverter. Yeah. You must have some. But somebody must have a closet they can stick them in or something. You know, I mean, it's oh, free. No, I'm sure they could be you know, I mean, can't can we just get the panels and start working towards doing something with them? I'm not averse to accepting the donation of the panels. I'm just exploring them. I'm just saying we can't just run up and slap them up on the roof right away. Well, yeah, yeah, I get that. We have room in the library basements for There you go. Problem solved. Mm -hmm. But I think actually you should have one in the library with the notice saying <laughs> donate to get these on the roof. There you go. Good idea. There you go. Mm -hmm. But I guess your question, you know, is correct that, you know, if we find out that we need a new <laughs> roof and it's a long-term fundraising project to go solar, you know, is, you know, would we be, I mean, I, we would not be required to use these particular panels. But just knowledge that we may need to could start the project and could start the project done. in one way or the other. Yeah. Definitely appreciate the donation. I mean, this town has been trying to do something solar for yeah, I know. for many years now, and it's um, and I guess that it would be a, a great donation that I, I think people would accept them and, and I think we'd have to invest in seeing exactly what it would you know, will is it an appropriate spot you know have someone analyze it acceptable roofs because you could just put the panels on that and funnel the electricity to the library I, I, I don't know that we well, I'm just saying, mm -hmm. you yes. know, we got more buildings in town than the library. If we got to spend a million dollars on the roof to get the solar going, you know, mm -hmm. we've, we've done a lot of thinking about that. This one was the first dot, and this one is going to take too much structurally to make this strong enough. The fire station is not pointed the right way. The town garage is not appropriate. That's not really strong enough or, or oriented that well. It's, that's been the challenge is where to put it. That's why we, we floated the idea of buying into an off-site installation, which was voted down because it was a California company. Um, so it's, you know, the, the, the quick answer is, you know, not really. If, if the library roof is, is strong enough, then that maybe that would be the the church. I think is 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 doing pretty well. The school so is doing. Like uh, school. I was just wondering if I could ask my yeah, the school. The school. There's been a lot of back and forth about the school and questions about the 
the, the structural integrity of that roof? And is it, I, I don't know. I didn't. I haven't seen the studies, but I know it has been brought up before. And for for some reason, they they discounted the possibility of the school. That to me makes a lot of sense. That's a big roof there. Um, but also, the town has sense. the town has an energy coordinator um, appointed position, yeah. and and that's that's Marvin Harvey. Um, who is actually quite knowledgeable in solar so panels himself. So um, he may he may be able to research um, avenues for grants or something to combine library and solar together and see what comes up. And uh, so I, I would suggest touching base with Marvin about it as well. Um, the if I may, you know, that, um, you know, a, a, a gift to the library is a gift to the town, that since the library building is a town building, that, you know, I don't know even with, if we made this our primary fundraiser for the next couple of years, if we would be able to raise the kind of money needed, that I think we are going to have to count on, you know, the town also um, helping with this project on this town building. <laughs> Hi, this, you said one of these guys came and looked at the roof. Mm -hmm. He didn't actually get up there, but he looked at the roof. And it, Yolanda said to something about there's a lot of talk in his quote about the roof. So is there any kind of warranty when they put these panels on about how long they're going to guarantee it for not leaking or anything like that? I don't know. And we also have a situation of, of the attic um, in the library. It's, it's very difficult to access. Plus, we just put 27 inches of blown insulation in that space. So. Um, Amos, is co he did say that he would be able to put them on the roof and without accessing the attic, that he would simply run, run conduit yeah. um, off, off the Down roof. The yeah, because that working within that attic is probably not going to be possible. It's probably cheaper to do it with <coughs> conduit. Yeah. Than to start ripping the chair. Yeah, because we don't want anybody in there with the 27 inches of blown insulation because if that gets compacted down we've ruined the whole thing. Um, I know from experience with Pierce Hall that uh, building codes changed in 102 years and we had to do a lot of structural beefing up in the attic of Pierce Hall to meet the current structural codes. Mm -hmm. And I suspect if you get a structural engineer up in the attic of the library, they're going to find some stuff that doesn't meet the current code, and that's a public building. Yeah. So. That's really the first place to start. I would, yeah. from my experience, that I would think so. It has been suggested. It has been suggested one of the uh, the first proposal. So the uh, yeah, first the estimate yeah. by the not by Rob Stalin because he had, he was not mm -hmm. here, but the uh, the first one. So that, but, that yeah. the roof would need to be inspected by an by an engineer. However, we don't have money in the 2018-19 budget to even have a structural engineer come out. I'm just saying what he has suggested. <laughs> exactly, but I'm saying we need to, the money to even take that step forward since we don't have it in this year's budget. I'm just, can I just say something? I'm a little confused about your quote and what this guy is saying in your quote. Are you not working together? Well, there's yes, two, two different, different, different groups here. Two different quotes. So who no. should we be d looking at? Your quote well, or your it's, quote? It's, or it's irrelevant, what? really. The, the, the I, I both of them have, are... I probably would like to have copies of that. Yeah. If you can yeah. five minutes, anyway, that would be great. Have you forwarded all of you? I have not seen this stuff at all. Oh, it's well, so. I forwarded it to the trustees and I forwarded it to the select. 
Okay, so, I'll so, so, the, so the, 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 the real question here is, um, Mike, are you still willing to donate your used panels to the town in the interest of, of pushing this conversation forward about trying to get some solar um, gain to the town and it's in with the knowledge that it's that you're not going to see them up on a roof anywhere immediately but it, it's um it's you know we could maybe set a, a you know, if we haven't figured anything out within five years that you give them back or you yeah. get to give them to somebody else or something. Right. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that that's fine. Uh, I didn't think that people could scramble so fast to, you know, yeah. happen it overnight. Um, I mean, it'd be nice to start them on a roof and have them be working while it's done, <laughs> but uh, you can't it done. <coughs> yeah, so, I think so I, I'm fine with that. Saying like you've got um, enough room in the basement for library to store? Um, well, I should say we should have Mike come by and take a look, tell us how much space would be necessary. There right. is some space available yeah. in the library if they can be stacked, you know. Yeah. Uh, that we can make room by, but we also that requires some additional work by pushing some shelves up, That's rearranging right. shelves. Yeah, it's like, just like, That's yeah, it can be done. Yeah. <coughs> it can be definitely, it like can be done. Yeah. It can make room, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And we put it out there that the town that is open to a angel investor that would pay for a structural analysis of the library roof structure. I think so. You want an investor? Oh. Possibly, the, the town, the select board, might consider, in, in, in terms of the interest group, it, it seems to be right here, right now, of thinking about uh, putting together an entity czar and let that person form a committee of people like the library, like Dean, possibly, yes, <coughs> to somehow get the nuts and bolts of this together to focus the activity on a smaller group of people. Well, that's kind of speaking to what Patty was saying now. Uh, Marvin Harvey is the, the, the point of town energy coordinator, you know, and he is, um, he's passionate about solar power. He's, you know, put a lot of it on his building, so. Um, he, would, he should be in, brought into the conversation. Yeah. For sure. I will. I yeah. I will reach out to Marvin. Yeah. And uh, ask him to. Do you know he's aware of this conversation at all yet? No. Yes. Yeah. And what was his oh, yes. Well, Barb is aware. Barb is aware. Okay. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. But um. <laughs> so, all right. Well. I won't say that he's aware that this conversation is happening. Right, no, You're I'm, aware yeah. of the, the potential donation. Yeah. So we'll, so the board is actually wanting to find a donor to pay for the structural analysis. We're, We're always open to suggestions. Okay. Yeah. So are you saying that the board, the select board, uh, it would be willing to pay for the Structural no, analysis. We're that we're no, really, okay. Uh, we're saying that we're Sorry, I, I didn't get that. There. We're, 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 yeah, we're, we're, we're going to yeah. publicize the fact <laughs> that we're, we are looking for someone, in, a structural engineer that may want to donate them ta their time oh, okay. or somebody or that's passionate about the library building okay. and this effort that they may want to fund that. Yeah. So, a donor to, to either pay for or provide the structural analysis? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Right. Yeah, right. the same like with the fan is blowing my ear as well. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. All right. So um, to be continued, I'm sure. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you, and thank you, Mike. No. no. Yeah. Um, nobody's here from the constable office. John, welcome. Do you have anything to report from the the, the roads? Not a while. Mike, come from the 
for roadside mowing, mm -hmm. which you need to be considered. Mm -hmm. And like you and I spoke, we need to investigate renting an escalator for a month to six weeks. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. so this is an estimate for roadside mowing? They do mowing go in on the green. I know. I work. Yeah, I just, I just get it. <laughs> I just slow down. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm a little nervous. <laughs> 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 Other than that, I really don't have anything. Yeah. No, we, we haven't advertised bids yeah. yet yeah. for a phone site. No, we haven't. Really. So it's just, just a bad idea. Yeah. We kind of discussed it last night, but we weren't here the last night. I so guess he um, must have read it in the paper. Ago. Two yeah. meetings ago. He asked me to bring that, so I did. Ah, okay. Just to carry your picture. Right. Okay. 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 Right. We discussed it on two meetings ago. Right. right. I think it would be money well spent. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
then um, I, I haven't seen much issues on, on the park. I think it's so public um, that people are, are pretty conscious of picking up after themselves. I know, what, yeah. do you, what do you think? That? So that would be a good area, and for disposing of it, would it be possible that the porta potty people could tend to that as well? We don't have a porta potty down there anymore. Oh, we don't? That's in our budget. Okay. So, uh, I mean, do, I, do I, they do the one by the fire department? <laughs> you weren't listening? <laughs> no. Just the equipment below. It's been about seven years since I've been in one of these, and they're talking about dog waste on the park <laughs> then building. <laughs> and they haven't talked about it seven years, so it must have worked. Yeah. 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 better to talk about. Yeah. 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 Thank you all. 